Hello, this is How To Bob, and in this video, I'm going to change the price on a GE commercial coin operated dryer. Now, the first thing we want to do always is unplug the unit from the wall for safety, and this is the change acceptor here. You can see it's set at a dollar. So, I'm going to start out with the access panel on the side of the change acceptor, and I want to open that up to see the workings inside the change operator here. You'll see a little bolt here and I'm going to use a socket wrench kind of work that in there. It's a little tight and I'll loosen that up. That's a very long bolt because that's what's holding the change acceptor in. Once I get it loose with the socket I can go ahead and get it out by hand. See how long the bolt is? Just screws into the front of the coin acceptor. Now that I have that out, I can pull my coin acceptor mechanism out. That's the only thing holding this unit in. And I'm going to take the spring off here. Then I'm going to take the cover off the top. There's a Phillips screw in each side just to remove the chute cover. And that'll come right off. Next, I'm going to take off the two screws right behind the coin slots. And what that, that holds on a band underneath where the blanks are held in place, so this will allow me to remove the blanks. Let me turn that over and dump these screws out a little bit here. Now I'm going to turn the coin mechanism over and remove the little stop here. There's one Phillips screw on that, and that comes right off, and then I'm going to flip the unit over and I need to remove the two screws here so that the coin mechanism will come all the way apart and once I get both of these screws out, those are flathead screws, once I get both of those out I can slide my mechanism all the way out and out the bottom will come the two blanks, three blanks, however many you have and these are the blanks here. Each one takes the space of a quarter. And you can see I'm going to put two of them in. That'll leave me a dollar fifty. Now here's the band that I was talking about. This holds the blanks in place. It goes right here. I've got my coin set, so I'm going to go ahead and put this back on. So you gotta hold it into place while you put these screws on from the other side. There's two Phillips screws holding that in place. To get those tight, I can then, you can see here, I've got my price set now. I can then go ahead and slide my mechanism back together. Just slides back into place. And then I can start putting things back together just the way they came apart. Put the two screws in the plate on the end, a flathead screwdriver. Once I get that done, I'm going to go ahead and flip the unit over and put the little stop plate on. This just keeps it from coming out too far, going in too far, and it pushes the timer. Put the screw in here, just one screw on this one, it's a Phillips screw. Okay, now I'm going to check my unit for operation. It looks like it slides back and forth fairly easy. So I'm going to continue reassembly, put my cover plate back on. Phillips screw in each side of the chute cover plate. And once I get that done, I can put my spring back on. It just hooks here, and then it hooks onto the cover that I just put on. And once again, I'm going to check my operation, and the spring seems to be working good. So I can go ahead and put my coin mechanism back in. You'll see three holes at the top. The center one is where the screw goes, and the outer two are just for alignment. So now I'm going to go around to the access panel and take my long screw 
and it's kind of hard to reach. You may have to pull the coin operation unit off the front just to get it lined up, but once you get it screwed in by hand, then you can go back in with a ratchet and socket. And I use a quarter inch just because it's easier to fit in. Then I can put my access panel back on, lock it into place, and last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and change the price stickers. Now, these were supplied with the unit, and if you don't have the original stickers, you may be able to call the manufacturer and request more, but they simply pull right off, and you can see they come off pretty easy. I'm going to pull the coin slot decal off, and then I'm going to use alcohol, or you can use any solvent just to wipe the area off, get any residue off there to make sure that the new decals stay on and stick real good. Now here's the new decal. I'm going to go ahead and put that on nice and straight. And then I have the coin decal as next. And it goes right here. And that's how you change the price on a GE commercial coin operated dryer. This is How To Bob. Thanks for watching.